Broadcasting Camp. This is Sports Broadcasting Center. I am Dylan Erty, along with my partners, Jack Garvey and Brandon Fitzpatrick. The Chicago Blackhawks defeated the Boston Bruins in 3-2 in Game 6 of the Stanley Cup Finals to clinch their second Stanley Cup in four years. Trailing 2-1 with just over a minute remaining in regulation, the Hawks received goals from Brian Bickle and Dave Bullen to pull off one of the greatest comebacks in Stanley Cup Finals history. Patrick Kane received the Conn Smythe Trophy as playoff MVP. Kane finished with nine goals and ten assists and 23 assists in games in the fourth season. The Chicago Cubs will begin their final homestand before All-Star break with a two-game interleague series with the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim to start Tuesday night at Wrigley Field. The Cubs and Angels split a two-game series last month in Anaheim. Former Cubs pitcher Jermon Williams will start for Anaheim while the Cubs counter Travis Hood. The Angels are fourth place in the American League West while the Cubs are in fourth place in the National League Central. Both teams are over 10 games out of first place. The Chicago White Sox will end the first half of the season on the road starting with a three-game series against the Tigers in Detroit. This will be the first meeting between the Sox and the Tigers season. The White Sox will send left-handed Jose to the mound and Cy Young Award winner Justin Bruin. The Sox are trying to get out of the calendar the AL Central while they are trying to hold Indians for last place. Now on to basketball. The Chicago Bulls selected Tony Snell from the University of New Mexico with the 20th overall pick in the NBA draft. Snell is a six foot seven inch small forward from New Mexico. And they also selected Troy Eric Murphy, which is uh, from Florida. That shoots 52% from the field and 30 from the and finally, the Chicago Bears announced the team has signed defensive tackle Cedric Ellis to a one-year contract. Ellis' deal is worth $1 million with $500,000 guaranteed. During his five-year career with the New Orleans Saints, he recorded 134 tackles and sacks and two fumbles. That will wrap it up for the Sports Broadcasting Center. From my partners, Jack and Brandon, I'm Dylan Erty. Good night.